Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name's Alanise. Before we get into this video today, make sure you hit those big red letters below and subscribe. So that way you can see all the videos when I post. So obviously read the title, yes, yes, yes. Another 613, another Amazon wig and some more blonde for you guys because I'm killing, I'm feeling kind of spicy. Yeah, boy. So if you guys want to know all about how I accomplished this look, make sure you keep watching. This is the box that it came in. It was actually better packaging than I expected for an Amazon wig. And in the box, you just have your wig, um, this free gift if you want it, a wig cap, and a bag to actually hold your wig. So the wig patch packaging information is actually on the outside of the bag on this little sticker. I got 22 inches and it's obviously a 613 wig. Um, straight out of the bag, I wanted to show you guys the ends and what they were looking like. They weren't that bad, but they were kind of frilly. And then also this wig came just packaged different than any other wig that I've seen before, but there was not shedding as soon as I got it, which is really important for the rest of the video because um, we'll get there later. So before I did any detailing, I just wanted to show you guys what the wig was looking like on the wig cap. Um, it actually had some dimension to it, which I was really excited about. That means it was gonna either like take color well or tone and not just be like one hideous color. And um, I'm just showing you guys how pre-plucked it was. It was surprisingly pre-plucked and not like super dense and cheap. The lace was actually really nice along with it too. So like I mentioned before, I did tone this wig. I just used the Shimmering Light Shampoo. Um, and then I ended up toning the knots with this Clearall Pure White Volume Developer. And I only actually used one of these Ion Permanent Colors. So we'll get into toning right now, guys. Y'all, the 613 toning process scared the mess out of me after watching so many reviews. So here I am just using the shampoo and filling up the tub with water. I do recommend that you guys use the conditioner and not the shampoo because the conditioner will not take as quickly as the shampoo. But I, I guess I felt brave and used the shampoo anyways. Before dipping the wig, I did not just dip it to dip it. I actually exposed the middle and then I dipped it and um, i kept wringing the wig out and making sure the ends came out with it because if you do leave those ends in there you will overtone those ends especially because those ends are really frilly and super fragile so you want to make sure that every time you're pulling the wig out you're pulling out those ends as well i even like let the ends sit on the side and check them while i let the wig sit in the water so overall i would say i did this process for no longer than six minutes and then after that, I just checked and wanted to make sure there was like no overtoning and how the wig was looking in general. And I did get a lot of that brassiness out, but I know that when I wash this wig again, I'll be doing it again with the purple shampoo. So I'm not that stressed about it. And of course, after this process, I just went in and I made sure to rinse all of the shampoo out as much of the shampoo out as possible because you do not want to let that shampoo just sit in there and continue continue with the toning process while you're dying your knots so like i mentioned y'all before i only used one of those colors and it was actually the seven in brilliant 12 ion color and i just squeezed this into my dying bucket bowl whatever and use the clear all white and i kind of eyeballed it because um you really don't want this to be too too liquidy you want this to be thick because this is a darker color than your blonde and so you want those roots to not look blonde anymore you actually want it to be the color of your skin so i just sat the wig in there and put on the paste kind of really not focusing to push it through more just sit on the roots so that I can have that brown color to match my skin tone. So 
so these were the end results as you guys can see you can't really see the roots anymore and you can see a uh, color closer to my skin i actually really really love this and i suggest all people of color do this to kind of match their skin tone however there were some areas where i pushed the dye too deep and over colored the roots after this i just took some regular conditioner and conditioned the wig just because i had washed it so much for dealing with blonde hair you just want to keep in mind that this hair is blonde and it's probably already been through enough so you want to treat this hair more generously than any other hair that you've probably worked with after this conditioning process uh i was done for the day so i let this wig just sit out and air dry until the next morning so this is how the wig ended up air drying it. These are the ends. The wig did have some problem air drying in the middle, but that wasn't really a problem once I just got my blow dryer out. Um, I did want to show you guys the shedding in the wig. However, after just brushing it the next day, this is what the shedding looked like. Mm, kind of interesting. And then I went in and plucked it and this is how much plucking that i did from the wig also wanted to show you guys the hairline and what the hairline looked after i plucked it So guys, the install for this wig was just like any other installation at this point. You guys can watch how I install it, but I thought this was also the perfect time to get into the specs of this wig. So I ordered this wig off Amazon with the company HC Diva Store. It is their 613 pre-plucked lace front wigs with baby hairs, glueless straight human hair wigs for black women long title i know i personally got the 22 inches like i mentioned above the listing price was 176.90 but i actually paid overall 191.45 so this wig had a four out of five star rating with 49 customer ratings overall um 60 were five star four ten percent were four star and 13 percent were three star which kind of gave me something to work with the customer images pretty much line up with the wig there are however some terrible experiences mentioning how thin the wig is um especially at the crown but with my wig i personally didn't experience that it was more for shedding i got a lot of shedding throughout this wig that has kind of bothered me in the picture the wig is claimed to be 13 by 6 um, lace front which I did experience and you guys could obviously see that when I was dyeing the roots in the beginning They also leave you a little lace in the back of the wig if you guys decide that you want to pull it up To make it a ponytail or something of that nature Side note that just in case you guys wanted a different length They also carry this wig anywhere from 10 inches all the way to 28 28 inches in the straight hair so the rest of this installation process was pretty much a breeze. Um, I did want to see how the wig looked straightened and it was super pretty straightened, but I ended up styling it differently. Um, I plucked my part to hopefully get rid of some of those dark roots and just cut the lace and put some makeup on off camera to basically get this finished look to you guys. Um, if you haven't noticed, there are some flyaways, but as usual with blonde hair because it pops so easily and it's somewhat dry. Um, I do want to bring attention to all the shedding that ha that you guys have seen on my shirt. I specifically wore a black shirt so you guys could see it. So if you haven't looked at that, make sure you just rewind the video and check that out because there was a lot of shedding to this hair, guys. And I'm showing you again how much shedding I got after just installing it and it was basically ridiculous. Um, I just finished styling this, by, this hair by adding some curls in it and picking it out and that was it so i'll let you guys finish watching and i'll come back to y'all in the end
Okay guys, so this is how the wig turned out after styling. I love this look. I definitely think it was worth it, but y'all, let's get into the cons before we get into the pros. Cause the cons low key outweighing the pros right now. The shedding. So multiple times in this video, I tried to show you guys like the shedding that I was getting and it was just coming off like every single time I brushed, every single time I combed, me just walking or like flipping my hair to the back, it would just shed and I figure it may be due to dyeing the knots. But that's also a letdown because if you want to dye your knot, that kind of like melted look, then you should be able to dye your knots without your wig like shedding crazily. Let me see if I can show you guys if it's gonna shed. Two or three strands comes off at a time. I don't know if y'all can see. These are like three strands right here. It's not showing on camera. It's kind of disappointing. I really want to give y'all an update, but this is just a re initial review. So I will definitely let you guys know how the shedding holds up over time. Now, besides the shedding, let's get into the pros. Come pretty full. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this full when I first got it. And that's why I'm kind of bummed about it shedding so much. Because I'm like, okay, how much till it sheds? when it's gonna start looking raggedy. Along with the thickness, we'll talk about the ends. The ends didn't really wow me. They didn't really wow me, but they didn't really be like, they weren't really like, oh my God, look at those ends. You know what I mean? Ends weren't as thick as I expected them to be, but they were thicker than my low expectations, you know what I mean? The ends weren't too dry, obviously, as you guys can see, they're not too dry. Um, you can put some oil on them and uh, forming a curl, they're holding a curl. So that's nice, that's really nice for the ends. Let's get into this lace. So I would say this side of my head it looks great, but this side, but the lace is definitely work with a bull. Um, I would say dye the roots, dye, dye, dye the roots, especially if you're a woman of color. Tangling, there is no tangling. There is no tangling, there's no snags back here. Your fingers, you can just run your fingers through it like effortlessly. This hair does retain the length, so that's amazing in that and it kind of just gives you like this barbie effect and i'm just loving it y'all like i don't i don't even know if i want to go back to black i don't even know this is kind of this is kind of me what do my teeth even look whiter well i'd be danged i hope this video for you guys was extremely informative make sure you hit those big red letters below and turn on your notifications if you guys want to purchase the wig the link will be in the description box below if you guys want to know the details on these lashes that I have on, watch out for the next video. I love you all so much and I hope to see you guys as watchers in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.